What's up guys? Gundam Geek here again for another review of HGUC or High Grade Universal Century MSN-03 GOG for Mobile Suit Gundam or the famous battle on the One Year War to be specific. It's an amphibious mobile suit like a frog or salamander face with an arm like an enhanced crab. No, just kidding. Well, it was developed on November 0078 under the Principality of Zeon. It is designed to use for underwater, well, it's very obvious as you can see that you can use mega particle weapons. It can travel faster underwater to surprise attack its enemy and battle away from its Zeon base. This kit has a retail price for under 800 yen and was released on the year 2000. So that means we have a 20 year old HG kit here. Anyways, let's start. For the appearance, First, as you can see, this kit is very wide and the build is not a typical mobile suit that you see always. The head scope is way different from a Zaku because it has a rounded streamlined shape of head to reduce its water resistance according to some articles that I've read before. They can be retracted when cruising underwater. Its shoulders is, all, is very broad and pointed which suits the picture of a mobile suit. The chest is very basic with no details at all, just a small square of shape of cut through the center of it. The backpack is also basic with the color scheme of gray, which is nice and anime accurate also. And it has a two booster that will help increase the speed of underwater. The hands are very unique and sharp. Also the tree or rather two circles in the belly that I believe it's armament or the so-called mega particles weapon it has, a it has a basic skirt and the legs are very chunk but looks good at all moving on to the articulation the head can move slightly and cannot move up and down because it, there is only one single peg on it which kind of lame, but it's okay, I understand the age of this kit. The shoulder can rotate a full 360 and the good thing in this kit, it can move each and every part of its hand. Because it was built with 5 separate pieces, take a look at it, very nice. But wait, there's more, it, all, it also has a very articulated hand that includes its fingers. It can move separately each and every one of it. Very outstanding for an HG kit of its age. The hand can only bend for only 45 degree. Not bad for this kit. The ab can go down that far but can't go up that far. There's also a little bit movement from side to side which is very limited. The legs can go up that far and can go back that far, very little. It has a single jointed knee which can bend for less than 90 degree, I guess so. Now the feet are very unique that can move that up and go back that far, which is awesome. And as you can see, it can withstand its weight because the feet are so huge so huge and at the back of the feet you can also see some small details and it's so nice that you can paint it to make it more realistic and anime accurate for the gimmick of this kit you can detach the hand like this and put away the shoulder then you Detach also this part, then you put it in here, the peg here, then you bring it back again, like that, very simple, there you go, then you fold this hand so that, wait, let me Put this also the other hand 
there you go both of both of his hand is now completely folded i guess or should i say the hands are now gone now this is what he looks like when he is underwater so that it will make less pressure and more mobility i guess like that so very basic also very very nice looking mobile suit final thoughts about this kit this kit is not so impressive because it has no weapons or some um, accessories but for a beginner i guess or planning to build your very first own kit it is recommended you know it was only four to five pieces of runners very basic it will not frustrate you on building it and it will not rub your time that much but if you have experience on building gundam I'm sorry to say this kit will disappoint you because first of all it has limited articulation no weapons again no accessories just the kit just the figure itself and I recommend you go to the master grade version of it so that it will have more articulation and gimmicks also i guess but if you want to stick to a 1144 scale or hg kit lines or do some dioramas for the action scene fight scene of the this kit and the gundam itself you can always customize you can also like put some light here in the eye eye part because before i have already seen someone did that it's up to you it's your choice so it's getting very far now let's make it simple this kit is for beginners so i suggest you grab your own and let the fun begin because it's fun to build Gunpla. Until next time, guys.